All right, this is another print. Uh, it's a different project, but you can see the theory is the same. Uh, you can see there that the blue tape allows you to see the almost translucent first layer. It's a contrast in color. You can see there that it's a nice, clean, well laid out first layer. And the translucent part, the part, the darker part right here, right there, is the first layer all the way around. And now the second layer is going down. But the advantage again is that the blue tape does so many things. It's, it's quite a bit uh, of advantages to using the tape, and one of which is that difference in color. And right there, you can see it's almost translucent. A very smooth surface right there. You can see the outer rim of the print. And uh, it's going down smooth as usual. And we're going to go ahead and uh, finish this up, this uh, video. And then uh, when it gets almost done, I'll post another video. But this is why I use it. I, and I actually, when I tram the bed, I don't tram out here. I don't tram out here, back there, or back there. The print's only happening right there where you see it. On a flat surface all the way across. It's right there in the middle. So I'm using the tape again for many other reasons. But I do have to take into account the thickness of the tape when I tram. So I tram on the corners of the tape only. Not out here because it's not printing out here. And since it is a known to be flat, surface. I don't have to have that electronic gizmo here, you know, compensating for any highs and lows because there just isn't any. And not likely to be any anytime soon because I don't heat the bed. You can see right there, that's the set point for the, the bed. That's zero set point. Nozzles at 210 as usual. But uh, another good print starting out as always in the same fashion. And when this is done, it's going to be an easy print removal as well, without damage. And that's half the battle, being able to get the print off the bed without damage. I don't have to wait for heating. I don't have to wait for cooling. I don't have to wait for nothing. Literally, when it's done, I don't put any effort into removing the print at all. And quickly here, you can see there's no raft, no brim, no messy... Uh, glue, uh, purple glue sticks has been smeared on there because you just got to clean it off. You got to smear it on each time. It just makes a big mess. But if it works for you, go ahead and use it. All right, there's my printer. That's your basic hot end right there. No frills, no added anything. You can see for yourself. This came with the printer. Came in the box, just as you see it, just as. Reality designed it. This is the Ender 3. That is the extruder that came in the box. Came from Creality as they designed it. There it is. No issues. No issue printing. The Bowden tube. That's the original white tube, not the blue one. Alright. Original spring. Not the yellow. Not the chunks of rubber. The original springs. If you know how to use them, they work great. They will work as was designed, as intended, by Creality. Filament, where is it? Right there. Not up here. Because I don't want to print a bunch of arms and levers and gizmos to redirect it. I just park it right there. Run the filament straight in. No added friction by, any, by adding any pulleys or levers or gizmos or gadgets. It goes straight into the extruder right there. A, B, C, down to the table. That's it. It's almost too easy. All right. Happy printing.